Welcome to Xbox Uncuts, episode 282. We are back for another week of video game news, discussions, you know, just pretty much anime, comic books. Controversy. Controversy, yes, that's what we <laughs> love here, controversy. <laughs> just pulling each other's hair out, dog fights. <laughs> we go all the way. This week, I am joined by the wonderful Will. Welcome to the show, Will. Oh, hello, hello. Uh, great to be here. It's uh, another good week. Yes, sir. Uh, fun. Uh, Steph is supposed to be jumping on. Uh, he is in, uh, indisposed just at this moment, but he should be hopping on to hang out with us soon enough. And we have Eric, supposedly one day. I don't know. I messaged the man on Steam. We'll see. I don't know if he's read my message yet. My heart goes out to him. <laughs> he's not he's not dead or anything <laughs> no well I, I won't lie there was one time he disappeared for like eight well ten months yeah months. I remember that very worried yeah. for him yeah not a, not even a sign in it was a scary time I was worried it really was did I say what happened like you ever like <laughs> not really no, I don't think he ever clarified Clarified. I think he might have gone. Uh, you think he might have gone to uh, Kathmandu, in the mountains? I, I'd like to imagine that he was just a secret operative and he was busy. <laughs> that too. Secret agent. We also have Infinity Line in the chat. He says howdy. Yo, Infinity Line, what's up, man? Thanks for stopping by, sir. As always, you're a, a gentleman and a scholar. Yes, thank you so much for being here. All right. Well. Where to start? So, uh, I sent you the show notes. I don't have a ton of things to go over. We got about like six, seven things. A little fluff pieces, if you will. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, Interesting we'll way to here. say it. Playground Games RPG is still in the early, early stages of development, according to Respawn First. So, uh, do you think we'll see this at XO19? We'll get, will we get a hint? at the next fable since that's what it's rumored to be hmm that's an interesting question i because it's it's in the uk so i would think that they'll highlight other uk studios like you know playground rare um playground oh that was a playground playground rare uh what's the other one ninja theory and Maybe the the La La Studios game, uh, the Battletoads. I don't know, man. Chances are, I think, kind of low. But I would like to be pleasantly Titus surprised. Maybe? That would be nice. You know, I don't think that's asking for too much. Yeah. Like a CG trailer or something, you know? Yeah. At least an but, idea uh, of what the, the, they're thinking of doing with it. Like, even if it's just concept stuff at first, you know? I'd be down just to be like... Hey, you're going to be able to put a seed in the ground. It'll grow a tree, and that tree will change the destiny of the kingdom. <laughs> Essentially yeah. just pronouncing Fable 1. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know at what stage they're in right now for that particular game. Uh, it still seems early, but I would, I would guess that they can show some concept art or something. I don't know, at least something, you know. I think they would have enough to work with, to at least to tease, you know, like... Even if it's not a full game there, you know. Because we've been teased, you know, less stuff before. Yeah, but I it, yeah, I would I, I want to tease. I want I want something. Like you need to give us something. Yeah. Like I said, show a seed growing a tree and just put like fable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. So I mean, it'd be cool if they had like a like a I don't know, like you know how sometimes um Games have like these like little mini uh, games. Like not mini games, but like they have like a, like a pre-game game. Like I know Final Fantasy 15 had like a little uh, arcadey like RPG brawler, or like you know maybe, like like maybe like a pixel art prequel game. That'd be nice to have. You know that doesn't seem like a huge thing to to do. The, the newer Fable, or whatever is the developing. So it'd be nice to have like a little. Pretty cool, small, and then like fully give you the game. Did 
You still are, Will. You are robot. That'd be cool. Me. I'm sorry. Say it. I lost like the last 20 seconds of what you said. Oh, sorry. I was like, that would be cool to like, if they had like a, some sort of prequel game, like a small. small yeah. Do a, do a full game, like, you know, you know, well, you know, the full Fable game or whatever it is they're working on. <clears throat> like, you know, do that reveal. Uh, I mean, I don't know, man, because E3 is kind of far away. <laughs> I would hope they show more stuff throughout the year, like through XO and stuff. Yeah. All right. Breaking up all the glitching. In the sound, we have Steph. Welcome to the show, Steph. What up, what up? How you doing today, sir? I'm great. Thank you for being here, sir. We were just talking about uh, the fact that Playgrounds RPG is still in early stages of development, and if we think there would be any chance that we'll see it at Game or XO19, even if it's just like a teaser trailer. They confirm early stage. Uh, it's going off of uh, development from their hiring decisions. Is what this place is uh, referring to. It says, let me read real quick. Over the past few weeks, we've been keeping an eye on Playground Games, especially the staff. It is hiring. There are two games in development at the studio right now, Forza Horizon 5 and an RPG game. The new RPG game is putting together a strong development team that consists of former Rockstar devs and veterans from Cloud Imperium. The game has been in development for at least a couple of years at this point, and we are fairly certain that it is an Xbox Scarlet launch window title so it's odd to know that playground games new rpg is still in the early stage of development playground games is looking for a lead ui engineer who will join the project at an early stages of development says the job listing so yeah it's going off job listings the fact that the game is in the early stage of development is mentioned twice in the job listing um, it's an interesting little detail that reveals Playground Games still has a long road ahead. The RPG, which is rumored to be Fable 4, might not release with a launch title on Xbox Scarlet, as the job listing mentions. It is a large-scale AAA RPG, and those take time to develop. Microsoft exclusively, exclusive games have been a history of being midi-core, so it must be important for them to take so, as much time as with this one as they need. Okay. I'm going to go with a no. No, we no won't. Piece. I mean, they haven't done it before. I mean, it sounds like a sounds like a 2022 game, maybe. Oh, that sounds so horrible. What? That sounds horrible. Wait, Saying wait. The 2022, just hearing that. Oh, well, you know, considering how maybe far they might be, uh, this seems kind of realistic. Either 2022 or 2023. What about I the initial? 2023 would be unrealistic. I think 2021, maybe 2022. Because yeah, I would give though. it a three to four year development right there. Yeah. So, yeah. No, you initiative, you said, stuff. Yeah. Uh, probably even late. Uh, maybe 2023. The earliest. When do we see them then? I mean, the, the, the initiative game? And maybe they'll tease it at 2022 or 21. I think you're looking at all their studios at a three-year development cycle. So it's more like the, I wouldn't imagine 2022. I don't think anything's going to be that far out. Yeah, depending on, like, you know, yeah. the scope of the Scale game. Scale of the game, that. yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, what's interesting is that we also got – I know this wasn't in your notes, but uh, in Exile posted uh, – like a job listing today of, of them working on a new IP, which is interesting. Yes. So that's going to be cool. And uh, I think they also updated uh, Bart's Tale for uh, up to going up to 4K. I think it's dynamically shifting. So that's cool. Um, and also Obsidian's working on apparently a new IP, like a first-person RPG looks like. So maybe kind of along the lines of like an Elder Scrolls or, or something, or maybe like a... Like what they're doing with Outer Worlds, but like like more fantasy driven. So that'd be pretty mm. cool. Okay. 
So I think uh, with this gen, I mean this upcoming gen, uh, it's gonna be a lot of good uh, different types of games. Like, like I want to see more third person action adventure where you don't have to like shoot everything. I, I want like a like a melee combat uh, adventure game. You know, something that doesn't always involve guns because I feel like most of the Microsoft's games like okay, Shannon Loftus. <laughs> well, you know, hack and slash like a God of War or like a. You know, have that like a like a rise, you know, style game, and then like a like a Zelda or a little Fable game, because that kind of fills in that niche. Because remember, yeah. we're still we're still old. A few games, <laughs> remember, like because they canceled Scalebound, Fable Legends, even though it's a two four v one game. Uh, we didn't get Phantom Dust, so Phantom Dust would be nice to come back to. So you know, we're old a few games. <laughs> I would say. Yeah, I agree, definitely. But I, I would love to have a third-person action adventure game. That would be great. Like an Uncharted, or or like a like a Horizon, or something like that. Or like a Zelda. Something realistic. Hmm. D- different story. I would love to have that Shanghai game. That would be dope. Like a stealth game, like a stealth action. Stealth action, action adventure. Yeah. Something yeah. kind of like um. Close to Splinter Cell, is it Conviction? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, I mean, I think Coalition should go back to that idea, like in between their their hit gear stuff, because they're they're kind of going through it <laughs> with all the gears updates and stuff they have to fix. So, I think they could take a good break from it and work on a new IP and you know get get kind of some I some still, creative. I still ain't be Gears Five yet, man. Oh man, <laughs> I'm trying. Every I mean, I'm. I know I'm close. I gotta only have like 45 more minutes left to gameplay. That's not bad. I mean, I'm literally I'm in the last act and everything. Yeah, last act looks looks amazing. Make the graphics are really good. Everything looks good so far. Yeah. Plus, yeah. you get the rain. <laughs> but, but you know, I mean, Apex Legends dropped that new update. So, was it today? Yeah, oh, and last week, the Halloween thing is that is that what the that Halloween was? thing? Yeah, yeah. I got to reinstall that game. I haven't played that in a while, so reinstall. Yeah, because I had to make room for stuff, and I wasn't playing it as much. I was more playing PUBG, so something had to had to give. <laughs> oh, but speaking of PUBG, they did release a season five trailer. Did you see that, uh, Seth? Dustin, I did not. I have not as well. Yeah, so they're they're kind of reworking Miramar. They're not redoing it like they did with um Erangel, but they're putting like uh I think you can you could put like spike traps in the floor so the cars could the tires can give out, which is awesome. Uh you can pass uh your stuff like your items to the other player. Like kind of like you throw it at them or stuff like that, which is cool. Uh you can throw an axe so you got some some more like melee options, which is cool. Mm. Yeah, so that's awesome. Um, what else? Oh, the, uh, the, what do you call it? What, what gun is it? The, uh, the rifle in Miramar. Uh, I forgot the name of it, but uh, you Winchester? can put a scope on it. The Winchester, yeah, you could, you could put a scope on it now, which is awesome. Ooh. Yeah, so a lot of people have been asked for that one. Um, I think they added a few more landmarks, too, to the game. I think they put a few, like, I mean, as far as that stage in Miramar, uh, a lot more cosmetics. Like, they got, like, a pink AK-47 and... And cool yellow and black and blue decals on like the the what do you call it this SKS and the the mutant which is cool. Um, I mean I think Miramar needs better vehicles though. I think they they should add like an ATV stuff that's like make better for the terrain like an ATV a, a dirt bike. ATV, ATV makes sense. There is a dirt bike I think. Oh uh, and they took it out. Yeah, I think it was on a snow level too. And they took that one out. Yeah, I think uh, <coughs> sorry. it didn't work. Yeah, so they should put that back in, in, in Miramar, and then like for like a like a bonus, you know, like like the, um, the care package vehicle. They should put like a monster truck with armor on it. <laughs> That'd be fucking awesome. Sounds awesome. I should pass these ideas to them. <laughs> and I kind of wish. Well, I also put like a new uh, shotgun that that uh, automatic shotgun, which is pretty good, like multi pump. Um. But I think they should also add more new, newer weapons, like just to kind of rotate them in. 
add more new stuff in there because they have a lot of like i mean the uh, weapons are cool but i think we need more like like newer variant of ak-47 and um you know they they got one already a new ak i mean they they got a variant of the ak-47 uh one pc version no, no, no! It's it's out. I forgot what it's called. It's AK something. It's the one where you can put the attachments on it. Oh, put the grip on it. What's it? Oh, I forgot what it's called. It looks just like an AK, but you can put a grip on it and uh, something else. And the stock, I guess. Yeah, stock and a grip. What is that called? It's just not the, the M M forty seven. Or is it AK? It looks just. It looks like an AK. It's basically. It's like a wrap. It's like a AK with a. Uh, faster uh fire rate but it doesn't uh it doesn't hit as hard you know maybe maybe the mp i mean the mp uh k i'll, I'll tell you i'll tell you not mpk yeah. so it might be maybe it's a newer gun that added on the no no it they came out on the uh came out on the uh it's, it's i'll tell you just one second yeah it's not that it's not newer go okay. ahead um yeah i mean I think that might be it. I'll have to look into it a little bit more. I think, uh, let me see. Yeah, let me just double check and make sure I have all this stuff because I, the trailer shows up a lot of new stuff. Um, that they added to the game. AKM. AKM. Is that what? It, oh wait, hold on. No, is that always been in there? No, it's not AKM. Is it, wait, there's AK forty seven and AKM. Yeah, AKM. No, I had not. That was a newer gun. It's fairly new. It was like the it was it was the one right uh, after the uh, uh, let's see it came right before the mutant. Uh, what after the the what? What did you say? The, stuff? the mutant. It came right before the mutant, or right after the mutant. Hmm. But yeah, I mean that's a variant of the AK, and so is the mutant. The mutant is pretty much a, a variant of the kind of similar to the AK. Yeah, it's like a, it's like an M16 and the and the AK put together, but it made it made into a. Uh, yeah, it's uh, more like rifle round bursts. And stuff yeah, like that. yeah. I don't know. I have to look at the weaponry, but but I think that maybe the AKM and the 47 is. Different. Yeah, I, don't know. I have to look it up again. But yeah, AK, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's kind of closer to a submachine gun than a than an actual yeah. rifle. But it, it's still it's it's basically a rifle. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I would be nice. I don't know if you could change the stock of that one though. The AKM, I have to look it up. But I can't remember if you can or not. I haven't played in so long. So. <laughs> yeah, but the update's good. It's pretty sweet. I, I think uh, for those who hate Miramar, this <laughs> I don't. I don't hate it, but it's my least like favorite map of them compared to all, you know, Vikendi and even uh, Sandhawk. So uh, yeah, so they'll be it should make that the you know stage very interesting now. You really need yeah. it. Yeah. Right, well, I'd, I'd love to try it. Do you, does there, is there a release date for it? or? Uh, yeah, so it's coming out. Let's see. Please, October 25th. No, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I got the dates here. Okay. PC, October 23rd. And console is October 29th. So, so I, I think the private server, private server is out now, though. So you, you, on PC. So you can try it on PC if you want. All right, all right, cool. Yeah. All right, what's next, uh, Dustin? All right, Microsoft Flight Simulator map is the actual size of the planet. <laughs> That's crazy. It will be what? The map size is two petabytes in size. That is two million gigabytes. Uh, and what is it map, called again? This is Flight Simulator. Twenty. No, no, no. What is the the uh, measurement of data? What is it? Petabyte. Huh, petabyte. All right. So never fucking he... heard of that word before. Maybe it's a petabyte, or, or it's definitely petabyte. <laughs> P e t a. I mean, peta, peta. Yeah. Does that come with the uh, the uh, foot long sub at Subway? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I imagine since it's terabyte, petabyte would be right. I don't know. But uh. Yeah, two petabytes in size, and of course the 
when you're flying the content that you're seeing or like when you get close to it, it's it's all being streamed in from essentially bing maps and it's all loading in so it'll be one of the first games you'll actually be able to fly and go to your own house and visit yourself because it's all actually satellite imaged so can you like land in china or something and see how it is <laughs> or, yes. or I, i'm sure they They've banned that something like they haven't banned that from China. They can like use. I mean, they have all the data. all the maps. I mean, well, this is, yeah, you can. Interesting. So happy to find out all their trade secrets. <laughs> uh, it says about two million cities, forty-five thousand airports, and all natural landmarks from Earth will be available in high detail from the uh, photo scanned resources. This might be better than like. Google Maps, because like, I'm I'm sure people are gonna find. They've already yeah. confirmed it is more detailed than Google Maps are. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can see people finding like crazy stuff in there that that's actually in real life. Like maybe they'll find like a, a like an ancient civilization somewhere that they couldn't see it on like Google Maps. <laughs> it says the uh, and it will be procedurally loaded from Microsoft's data center in real time as the player flies. About, yeah, I've already read the city's things. The rest, like vegetation, traffic, and clouds, will be rendered using AI. Uh, doo -doo -doo. The game will also feature the most realistic weather and lighting system ever created that will mimic real... <clears throat> excuse me. Real-life light colors, shading, and uh, voltmetric... Volt yeah volumetric rays the wind will also be ai generated and will affect planes clouds rain and waves of on water i'm curious if the weather is the actual weather on the planet because that'd be really cool as well like if yeah, that would that would come flew through a hurricane like like there's a hurricane actually coming and you just they just use the weather data just to toss it up in the game that, that would be dope. i heard that might that might be the case I hope so. I know they've done that similar thing before. Can I like fly over my house and see my house? Mm-hmm. Because it's all the actual Ooh. data, so you can actually fly to your home. Dope. So you guys think? I'm sorry. You guys think this game will be like a sleeper hit? <laughs> I mean, with so much interesting stuff going on with the realistic graphics and all that fun stuff. I'm gonna say no. I'm just saying but, it's not going to be a sleeper at all because people love Flight Simulator. And since it's part of Game Pass, it'll get its recognition. I'm yeah, going to pop it's like our a... cover real quick because this is the picture of what New York looks like in the game. Uh, rendered. Mm. It looks fucking gorgeous. Yeah, I saw that. Statue of Liberty there. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's very yeah. pretty. Yeah, that one's cool. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I like it. Especially... Because you, you, I guess, you learn about flying, different types of planes, I guess. So it's also educational. <laughs> In case you have to, like, take over for the pilot and something crazy happens on your flight. Maybe you can... I played Flight Simulator. Let me in. <laughs> I think they'll, they'll let you, you know, they'll let you in for that. Yeah. It's close to, the closest thing you're going to get. It's a real-life training. Believe it or not, computers pretty much can completely take... Uh, well, they can take full control now. Landing, taking off, flying the whole trip. The AI is really, really good in these new uh, planes. What if you have like a situation like uh, in the boys where like he melts the control panel? <laughs> I guess you. Uh, I think at that point you're fucked. I mean, <laughs> yeah. If super the evil Superman comes in and starts fucking with your plane, I mean, they, they, <laughs> there's no saving it. Just be be ready to die. Let's start praying. <laughs> All right. Next bit of news. Let me pull it up. Sorry, I pulled down my window. Uh, sea of Thieves will. It's going to start providing private servers for community event community events. Uh, they have not said when this is all rolling out, but it's look, something they're looking into. Excuse me. They are also actually. Uh, Oh, what is it? They have rolled out pet, new new pets for this month that are time limited. That are uh, like skeleton monkeys and skeleton parrots. They're pretty awesome. Oh, I, I got that's them. cool. Great. Oh, skeleton monkey. 
Yeah, he's they're cool shit looking. Like it's just you know skeletons. What would you name a skeleton monkey, Pat? So I named mine Boneses. Boneses. <laughs> I didn't know. I couldn't think of another good name for it. It's just like boneses. monkey bone. Monkey bone. Yeah. Banana bone. I haven't named my parrot yet. I gotta figure out a good name for my parrot. Oh, you do have the uh, the poster slash listener old no bones. Well, yeah. Maybe you can name it after. Well, him. he's no bones. <laughs> These are all bones. Mm. Maybe yeah. oh, all bones. <laughs> oh, all bones. <laughs> uh, let's, let's name him Brooks. 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 Yeah, Brooks. But yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of things in this update. It's really cool. Uh, they've also added some access- accessibility options where you can have, uh, instead of having to like hold down a button, you can just toggle a button instead. So if you like need to dig up a chest, I guess, they'll just let you hit one button and it'll do the whole thing so that your people you know that aren't able to hold the trigger down can actually enjoy the game as well. That's cool. Nope. When are they going to add um, non-skeleton enemies? <laughs> I feel like I got skeleton everything at this point. I'm all skeleton out. Uh, that's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess if you count the sharks and the... Uh, the... the kraken. There's crabs. Is there not crab? I thought I know. I said kraken. <laughs> Maybe like cracking people. Yeah, cracking people. Cracking people skulls. That's what we do. All right. I don't uh, know if they may, if the enemies were different. Because you, you. Yeah. Or they're just sparks, you know, whatever. I don't think any blood comes on when you kill a pirate, right? They just kind of. Yeah, it just drop. They turn blue. They that, turn would be, green. that would be green. dope if they did. You could, you could cut people's heads. <laughs> this is more of a honestly a PG game, so I mean, they're not, they're not pushing. Imagine, imagine if they used that Gears of War Unreal Engine. I mean, it is Unreal, so I mean, they could just insert the assets, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You mean like Gears of War splatters? <laughs> yeah, well, man. They, they do have a new <laughs> have uh, ship that you can buy. Vern ended up buying this one because I bought the Banjo Kazooie one last time. Uh, it mm. Is the it's a Killer Instinct ship? Oh, so, I don't see this. Yeah, looks really cool. Let me, let me look that up. Killer Instinct. I do have the Banjo Kazooie masthead and stuff, but is there an actual like just Banjo Kazooie ship? It's an entire ship. Yeah. Oh, it's not limited cool. time, right? I uh, know you have to pay for it. That's all. Uh, it's part of their microtransaction push on the newer stuff. It, so, is the Joanna Dark one still available, or is? Yeah, you can still get it. Oh. Uh, so there's that one, Banjo Kazooie. So does a Banjo Kazooie ship look better than the actual masthead and all that stuff? Because I guess it's more resembling like the cartoon, right? Maybe a little bit. A little bit. Hmm. We looked up this ship. <laughs> We also had, well, well, you're looking at the ship. We'll move on to the next bit of news. Or you found it? What do you think? Yeah, it has like the KI sales. Um, Yeah. I think Spinal is already a masthead, so I don't think you have to... No, it's not a Spinal masthead. I'm not sure exactly who the character is on the front. Let me see. uh... Looks like the robot dude, the metal dude. But he has two swords that glow, which are pretty awesome looking. Oh, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> All right. Halo Infinite creator director leaves the studio only after being on the job for two months. It's been updated. Yeah, I mean, studio heads are moving people all over the place. But, uh. uh it's full. Mass out. Uh, I mean, it looks like it. Because he has, like, the glowing knife things, but. Mm-hmm. Not, yeah, it looks like kind of a, or an interpretation of full gore. That's yeah. cool. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, yeah, 
All right, so the lead producer of Halo Infinite has stepped down after two months on the job. Because uh, the first yeah. lead producer was poached by, I forgot what company, um, and then we don't know exactly what's going on with why they left on this sort of events. But this game essentially has been in development for four years. I don't think this is super alarming. I mean, if it was like early in development, it would show some more concern. But at this point, like kind of what this game's going to be has already been laid out. Yeah. For... I'm only a little bit worried because of what they have. They've showed and haven't shown. I feel like we know nothing about this game when it's coming out yeah. next year. I agree. Have we seen a little bit more? I think I feel a little bit more comfortable, but really only having that one little trailer for me three, and then having a, you know some people notable people leaving, and maybe you know guy only been there two months. He, there's no, he couldn't have the, any kind of effect or she. I'm not sure if it's a male or female. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. Yeah, I, sure. I think I don't think it's a big issue right now, but like you said, well, right now, but much. when it, yeah. When, when a game comes out and it, it's lacking and the story again, I mean, not only is it going to be a big blow to the franchise because this need to be a good story. We'll know why because of the turnover. Yeah, but this yeah. Is, by the time it comes out, it'll have been in development for five full years. I mean, the idea that they're only figuring out the story now in the last year and a half of development oh. is kind of crazy. So I, I agree, I'm not thinking that. that, like, the, if the story's shitty, it's been shitty the entire time. Like, it's not just gonna be because <laughs> somebody else stepped that, in this role. That's that, that's that's what I only worry I, I do have. Yeah, I think that's at this point, I think this point there should be mostly like quality control and uh, make sure everything's set right, you know, before or like you know the kind of the before polish phase, uh -huh. and they're kind of then hopefully they'll polish it and then. After that, it's good to go. I mean, I'm not. I mean, it is a little concerning about the people leaving and all that stuff. But at the same time, like Dustin said, uh, it's not like the, those roles were super. I guess uh, I don't say necessary, but they weren't like as needed. At this stage needed. in development, they're not as demanding. I would say. Right. Yeah. They're... Versus, like, if uh, if we were only like two years in development and like a bunch of people were just kept quitting, it would have been like, oh shit, something's really going on at four three four or three four three. Yeah, because they yeah. seem like more like managerial positions more than like yeah. production and like yeah. uh, you know art and stuff like that. So, which is you know part of production. Uh, so yeah, I mean I'm not too concerned about it, but I, I do want to see like Steph said more about this game. Like I don't know if they're gonna show another tidbit. Like so, it'd be nice to have it. They, but... they, they need to. I mean, with all of this stuff going on, I feel like there's just to, you know, maybe temper, or not temper, but, you know, let, let everybody know what's going on. Not literally with the story. Well, I think this would be a good time to show some multiplayer, to be honest, if they can at XO19. Yeah. Nah, not yet. Not yet. Because not yet. I, I don't think you're going to see another story trailer. Maybe until they uh, because I think the think... multiplayer will be at E three this time, and we won't see story. I don't know. Like years pro approach where they just hold off on story. Uh, uh, I think they would have to do both. I mean, if they're not gonna do like a like a, it depends event. on how they do their their. See, that's what's probably that's what's probably gonna happen. Will they probably gonna let every, everybody's gonna already been unplayed it? They'll have like an event where they'll invite people to come play the multiplayer, and then they'll do their pieces and yada yada, and then they'll show it at E3. But if they change their formula of how they're you know how they're doing shit, then we'll see both. Which really needs to happen is they need to do an on stage demo. We need to learn about the story, like I mean, because I think that would have done wonders for Gears of War Five, just because yeah, yeah. how good this game is. They, they they should not shoot themselves in the foot this again. I mean, even because I've played Escape since then. I mean, Escape's pretty cool. It's a good, great concept. I mean, had we seen some of the skiff stuff? I mean, the fact that we didn't even know that was part of the game. It's, it's... 
Well, I guess it depends on how many events Microsoft plans for the rest of the year or, and, you know, going into 2020. I mean, they have XO and E3, but um, I think before E3, usually they have like a, a, a re, you know, like a, a console reveal, right? Before, like, because that's how they did last uh, beginning of this gen. They had a, a dedicated event for the console reveal and then they did E3. So maybe they'll do like an. Uh, if you know with XO is still there, so well, if I do, I'm not sure the console will be that. That I don't think it'll be not to say it won't be important, but I don't for Xbox, I don't think it's going to be such a huge deal that they'll need to do a separate event. I think they'll say, I think they'll say for E3, maybe, then. If, yeah, it'll just be at E3, it'll be about as big of a deal as the X was. I don't PlayStation I, on the other, it's, no, I think you're completely wrong. Microsoft has always had a, like for every single one of their consoles, they'll have a reveal. And I think this, I think how they'll end up rolling it out is you'll have the console reveal. They'll show off a Halo campaign trailer. Yeah. They'll show off, they'll show off a few campaign trailers there. And then at E3, they'll show the rest of their lineup. I'd love to be wrong. Well, I mean, going by history, you are wrong. But uh, <laughs> we'll see. I mean, the original well, Xbox it hasn't happened. Yet. The original Xbox had its own reveal, and, and uh, uh, the Xbox 360 had its own reveal. Yeah. The Xbox One had its own reveal. But th- this if is we're just in going a different by Microsoft. What Marcus, yeah, but if we're just going it's about not the what same Microsoft, did, Microsoft, yeah, but that's how they roll out consoles. Sony has their yeah. own reveals. Like this is it, it would it makes I think more sense gonna... to have unique time to just talk about their console. I their own event. Um, about, I think they did something similar last time with, uh, I don't know if it was Halo uh, 5 or was it Halo 5? Were they, I don't think so, right? It wasn't Halo 5 that they teased at, uh, was it, I think it was at E3 that they teased it. It wasn't for, the, the event what? reveal. Um, no, they teased Quantum Break. Yeah, that was Quantum Break, and then like Call of Duty and all that stuff. But yeah, I guess it was just Quantum Break. Like, uh, it was one of the cutscenes. It wasn't even like in the game. It was like kind of like a pre. That was in the game. Thing. It was well. It was one of the, the like with that little girl. Was, yeah, there's a ship. Uh, yeah, that was true. Crash to the bridge. Yeah, but then there's that one with the live action of the little girl, and then then uh, the lady, which was weird. It was it wasn't really in the game. Oh, that part. Well, I'm not. Yeah. I, don't, I don't. I don't really remember that. I just remember the ship. Yeah, yeah, that was definitely in the game. You're right. Um, but yes, I think EXO, what I think was going to be is like EXO is going to have the odds and ends games, like, you know, more battles holds, so uh, maybe Gears, uh, Tactics, uh, what, was, what was the other one? Um, maybe Bleeding Edge and uh, maybe some teasers for for uh, Ninja Theory and stuff like that. And then uh, I think then the, the, the console reveal and then E3 is going to show, like, you know, their launch lineup. Uh, you know, including third party. I mean, which will be really interesting because they're gonna have to show a lot more games, and I think then what their internal studios are able to pump out at the moment. So it might, might be uh, depending on Microsoft uh, Game Studios uh, publishing, like a Killer Instinct two, and that also depends if they're gonna delay um, Bleeding Edge and Battletoads for launch. But I kind of doubt it. We'll see. It seems a little farther away because they don't have much between then. Ori and Infinite between Halo. Oh, I'm sorry, between what recently released, which is Gears, Ori, and then Halo. That's a, that's a big gap. Yeah, that's, that's why I think they'll do like a Halo multiplayer thing, like just its own press event, like with with the the media. That'll be their big thing. And then there'll be a beta or some shit. I mean, it won't, you won't be able to play it that like early in the year, but they'll announce it at least or something. Yeah, very possible. Although I do think they should, I don't know, show like equal equal parts of the game, like show actual like first level or something, and then plus do the multiplayer. I mean, they've always done that, so they should kind of just follow the same thing they've been doing. It's definitely possible. Definitely I don't know. Possible. It's interesting. They have uh, a lot of potential stuff looking, you know, if they play their cards right. 
I can't believe I'm the only one who thinks that they're gonna do there's they're not gonna do their traditional content. Like have its own separate event. Like, do, you remember how bad it went last time for them? Like, <laughs> I mean, I really don't believe no, they're gonna do. They're it not gonna way. have the DRM controversy, so why not do it? Like everybody does it. Like why wouldn't you do it? I don't know. I just think it'll be different. I just don't think it's gonna be uh, the same. I think, why not I think have it'll a be day more, like, it'll specifically be like the for your Xbox and just to talk about the Xbox and not have to deal with I, the PS4 think, announcement on this or PS5 announcement the same day? Yeah, I think yeah, it's so like be. both Sony and Microsoft are P- both competing. Yeah, PlayStation ain't going They're not gonna wait for they're, E3. They're PlayStation, no, it. yeah. So why not have your own like playstation's having their own so that you don't have to sit there and talk over one another to at e3 like it doesn't know man i'm just not honestly i'm just not convinced that that it's going to be so different from what we already have besides power that you know then why does playstation need a conference why does anybody need one i feel that way about both no but only different but like, the only difference is is the is the games that they that you know that they'll have, I guess really, which we really don't know much about Xbox either. I don't know, I don't know, man. It's just, it's just neither one of these new gens feel like it's going to be anything special yet. I guess you know what I mean, like because we know nothing. It's so far ahead. Like getting all this information, like them, like Sony coming out so early and saying all the stuff that they're saying. It just takes all. The- the oomph out of it to me, you know what I mean? A little bit, but at the same time, it gets rid of a lot of the bullshit speculation that we had. On yeah, it does get rid of the speculation, but at the same time, it doesn't feel as special. You know, when you, you know, like, this, like Mark Cerny came out and cleared up a bunch of shit about PlayStation Five already in the last week, like talked about haptic controllers and all this other stuff. Like we covered last week's podcast. Yeah, they're and basically gonna have fucking it, Switch controllers. Who cares? Yeah. But, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Well, the, the only way I can see them do what stuff's proposing, like combining it into this, this into the, is if uh, they don't really have enough, like, content to spread it out. And then they just kind of put it all in one show. But yeah. I, I think they have enough stuff because there's a they lot of more stuff. But, they have more mm-hmm. studios than Sony does. They have plenty of content. They do, but the, yeah. thing, the fact is, is that they're, they're, uh, we uh, we know what all those studios are making for the most part. And the fact that they don't we show games don't. early. How do we not? We don't know the stu- what the studios are making. Yeah, like, we don't we really just know. Just announced today Double like, that with like Double Fine's working on. I have no clue. We have no clue yeah. what. Uh, what was the, the you said the studios? Yeah, but I don't today. think they're going to show their new games before they release the ones they got right now. I think they'll they're show working. a lineup for what's going to happen because their plan is to release the game every three months. So if you don't think they're going to show what's going on for the next like every <sighs> like, for the next year, I'm not. I'm not getting my hopes up. I'm just going to be honest. That's why they bought all those studios, sir. I'm not That's saying that they won't <laughs> make games. I'm saying that I just don't think they'll show them early. that early. I'm not like saying that. it's that early. If they're releasing a game every three months, that means they need to show off the launch lineup. And they need to show off four or three separate, three more games on top of that. Every studio lineup. that they have right now has released a game within the last year and a half. Yeah, but they have a lot of backup teams doing other stuff. Yeah, like, and like every Rare's studio there having... has multiple teams. But... Yeah, because yeah, look, look, Steph, like the rare, you got one, you got uh, one game at least from rare plus battles. Well, it's been another kind of that. thing. Um, yeah. you got the NXL game, we got the uh, Obsidian game or games, um, games because they're Ninja multiple Th- studios to Obsidian, yeah, yeah. You got the Ninja Theory game, we got the Playground Ninja game, series also, yeah, two stu- like two teams, yeah, yeah, but they're not Ninja Theory's not showing a new game. I mean, we don't know when, Why but it, it, they have a game coming up. They have a game. They have Bleeding Edge. We're going to see Bleeding Edge. They're not going to show us another game. Yeah, uh, yeah. They have another game. Something they've been walk, working on for years upon years. Like they're, they'll have yeah, but that game. doesn't that doesn't mean they're going to have two games releasing or, or oh, oh. if if they do that, I'll be surprised. I'll be surprised if. Why do you think they? Well, the only thing that I'll... up every single studio to be multiple teams in each studio. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. like they can, they can. I'm sorry, stuff. They can pretty much like release uh, Bleeding Edge, you know, in the interim, you know, between now and launch, and then their their single player game at launch, you know, because that's I'm, that's been in development for you know quite a bit. So yeah, I, I agree. I just don't think Microsoft will show the other stuff. 
before this stuff is released and marketed and all that other stuff. I just don't. They just don't. I just don't know if they have it in them to do it, man. They've shown me the exact opposite of what you guys and over the last three years. They haven't done it one time. So you mean between XO and E3 and like in the real reveal event? You don't think they're gonna like show? More they're games? not gonna show any. I, it, so if they show they're something. gonna announce like do you think they're just going halo is coming at launch and we will talk to y'all bro i year. honestly think the fact that he mentioned halo at this last this past e3 that's basically saying that it's gonna you know it's coming out a year later than i thought because i thought we'd get halo infinite this year honestly i thought that would have been here this I year i never thought it was going to come out this year because gears came out this and year. when did halo but when did halo infinite get announced what year was that why would you announce Halo? Why would you release Halo Infinite with Gears? Why not? I don't give because a fuck that Gears too, is coming out. I think Infinite was twenty eighteen. Yeah, twenty eighteen yeah, like, was the reveal. Infinite will be in development for five years when it comes out in twenty. Halo Infinite was revealed in twenty eighteen. Are you sure about yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, that's what that's when they had that teaser trailer. Remember for the new engine and stuff. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, what is it? Twenty nineteen this year. Oh, twenty eighteen. Was uh, 2019 was the uh, you know, the little footage with the uh, That's Pelican the gameplay? And... Okay, yeah. well, it just seems like it's been forever. I don't know, man. I, don't, I, I, don't know. I, I, this... I, I understand your you know, your skepticism. You know, I, I don't know what you're saying it's 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 because they've been so tightly tight to the chest, you know, with their information, but I, I, they can't really keep doing that leading up to launch because they're gonna have to start they have to sell these and... consoles and sell the service yeah. no like, i'm not saying they, they won't the have the any day, games like they have i just to have no it's not it's they have to sell game pass like the whole point of this whole fucking yeah but they have third part, they pass. have all these other developers putting games in game pass they don't yeah, necessarily they have, have to, to push pump. it with their first parties too because if well, you don't yeah, have those not... first parties you're never going to fucking get people to actually put their third party stuff up there yeah is take that doesn't time. mean they're going to step out there and announce 10 games that are new ips or return I said stuff. 10 games sir i said well, three games that like i i can imagine i see them announcing three games and then announcing one of them's halo what's the other two no, Once literally four, announcing three new games. Okay. And then showing like uh, two games coming out for the the year, or two or three more games coming out for that year. I don't know, man. If that if that if it's gonna be two new two more games, I just don't think they'll be triple A. Well, like your mid year games don't have to be triple A games. They could be double A games easily. Something like a Bleeding Edge from a AAA studio, just not a AAA budget. Can yeah, I think the can they be? Stuff. But is does that what was that what I want? Well, I think they're gonna spread out the AAA in between stuff like I think Halo is obviously gonna be AAA. Um, Killer Instinct might be AAA, like a second one. I'm I'm sure they'd make a second one. I'm pretty damn sure. Uh, but that might be like you know that should be a AAA game. Um. Then they have probably like and the beating edge for game. More studio acquisitions too. Yeah, yeah. There's that too. So that'll be that'll be even better. That'll be you know, that's more stuff to add to that. But uh yeah, the triple play stuff is harder to, to gauge. You know, you got the initiative stuff. Uh, yeah. uh the obsidian whatever uh game they have. Uh rare mice uh, might be. I mean, I can't imagine it not being triple A. Um what's the other one? Uh, missing a few here. The playground, yeah, the playground one. So I, they, I think they're gonna just save them. You know, they, they usually save the big ones for like September, October, November. Yeah. And then you know, throughout the year they'll they release like double A and and smaller, depending. I don't know. It, 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 usually they, it'd be best if they released uh, their triple A games spread it out, so it won't be like such a like a hole. But we'll see, man. But we we'll know see. in exile, Undead Labs is working on a new game. Uh, yeah. Coalition's also working on a separate game. Obsidian is working on a separate game. Uh, Playground Games is working. We know on both Forza and Fable. And then I'd love to. I'd love to be proven wrong. I, I mean, I'm dying here. I'm, <laughs> whenever, whenever Phil Spencer bought when they announced that they bought all those studios and uh, he's Playground was one of them, and he says, "I'm, I'm excited to." Reveal at a later time what their second studio is working on, and they haven't mentioned anything about that shit. He made it seem like they're going to announce it later that year, or even the next year. And they, and it's been what three years? 
for close two well, and a half not, years. But two and a half. What, it's been two years? Two and a half years? Was that twenty seven? Yeah, what was that? Twenty seventeen when they bought those studios? Uh, twenty eighteen, I think. Was that just last year they bought all those studios? It wasn't the year mm-hmm. before. Mm-mm. Unless they did pre planning, <laughs> I doubt it. Yeah. I thought it was last year they bought they bought whatever they bought, and then the year after that, then they bought the uh, yeah. Th- twenty eighteen was. Oh man, dude, what's wrong with my timeline? Jesus Christ! <laughs> I don't know, man. I guess it ain't been that long. See, that's that's yeah. another thing. It hasn't even been it ain't even been that long. I don't know, man. It it just seems it just seems like it's it's not enough time. I'm not saying that they're not making games. I just don't think they're going to show them at the at the state that they're in. But like, Double Fine as as also the- is like, uh, what is it? Uh, Brutal Legends rumored to be getting a sequel from them. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not worried about these about games coming out and if there's going to be game creation and all the other stuff. I'm just saying that I just don't think that the times that we went like as far as E3 next year, I don't think they're going to come out and show like because I've been saying for the longest, yeah, we no, needed but they to haven't see announced anything three or four three. Games. They haven't announced anything for three years essentially for most of these studios. So if anything, this would be the time to start showing, hey, this is what we're working on. This is when they're going to start rolling all these games out. I mean, it's the, like this is the timing for their three to five year development cycle to start to actually pump games out for Scarlet. So it would make more sense for them to go, hey, this is what's happening the next year, year and a half, showing five, six games, plus all the third party stuff, like at E3 or at their own event for the next console. Like this is how they're going to sell Game Pass. Like this is why they're giving away, like I, I didn't put it in the news, like the Taco Bell hey if you fucking order a, a chalupa box you get game pass <laughs> Is ultimate the chalupa box yeah you get game pass ultimate for 14 days or, or you chalupa can win box this, is uh, disgusting or you can win uh an xbox one x plus an elite pro 2 controller there that's there's pretty that good. kit yeah yeah that's, that's, what, that's the way I'm better a chalupa box for that <laughs> yeah if the, if the workers haven't already taken all the codes you know or whatever they do. Uh, they be stealing them shoes. Yeah. I, I mean, know they do. Yeah, I'm sure they do. <laughs> but um, I was going to say. Oh, I totally lost my train of thought. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know, man. It's going to be an interesting year for Xbox. Because they're going to have to start rolling with the uh, the advertisements. And, you know, they, get shown, they have to start showing their hand. Uh because they're also still, you know, I believe it or not, they're still in a competition with PlayStation in some form, as, as much as it doesn't seem that way. But that, that, I mean, yeah. it's it, it's it's that way. When when Sony starts bleeding over into the thing that they're doing so good at, which is Game Pass and then, you know all the subscription stuff and releasing games that way that they're doing, then they have to take notice. Yeah. Yeah, because when a when a game like Last of Us Two hits and they decide to put it in their subscription service, they and or if that's a thing, or maybe it's well, a month in the road. Sony's in the same boat as Microsoft because right now we don't know what the PS Five is really going to launch with. We have no clue. Like it's like they're. No, I'm not talking. To, I'm not. No, talking I'm just saying they're coming up that. to the end of their game development. Like Last of Us Two is a PlayStation Four game. Yeah. Like it's it, and then that's it. Like there's really not any Ghost huge Tsushima hitters coming from PlayStation. Also a PS4 game. What? Ghost of Tsushima. That's also a PS4 game. Yeah, but like the, the that's it. Like we're done with PlayStation Four games. Like they they're holding all their cards to the chest. Like we don't know what's coming out next year. I don't. I'm not excited for PlayStation Five. Other than the future potential of P- PlayStation Five. Other than the future potential of the. A better running version of The Last of Us Part Two. I'm, uh, you know, why I'm part a little bit more excited for it, PS5 than Xbox, the next Xbox. Why is that? I know that I have, I, I have to buy that shit to play their new games. That's, I mean, not that I'm excited. I'm not excited to buy a new one, but I know that when they show something dope, I know I, I know. I got- as far as Xbox. They're doing forward compatibility until they tell me otherwise, and I'm not going to buy another console yet. I'll just wait. 
I mean, I'm fine with my well, X. Sony for now. PS4 compatibility for about a year as well. Like they did it with PlayStation 4 with PS3 games. Like that's. Yeah, I'm not sure that can, they will. You can make you can make that argument for both Microsoft and Nintendo. Or Microsoft. I mean, they're going to do it. They're definitely they going to do it for like Last of Us Two. It's not like Nintendo. Those games. They just cut it off. Like the. And they don't always just cut it off either. Like. Well, for all of their launch games on PS4, they didn't come out on PS3. Or you can't say the same thing for Microsoft. I mean, you could get Forza Horizon 2 on the damn 360. Well, I think they're going to have... Uh, well, I think like Gears 5 is going to get a big upgrade. <clears throat> um, oh, yeah. I'm not... not saying, well, I'm not going to... But I'm not going back and playing through... A, look, I'm not, it's not going to be worth it to me to go back and play it, to spend that, that kind of money to play those games again. What I'm saying is, is if there's something that I want on PlayStation, and I know I got to buy one just to play it, then that's what I'll do, and I'll just chill with, with the Xbox I got and keep keep my game pass. I mean, unless, I'm loving love, it, love it the way I... But if, unless on if PlayStation now, 5, you'll just be able to get PlayStation now and then play all those PS5 exclusives. Yeah, I mean, then that's what I'll do. I'll do the same yeah. thing. I'll, I'll get PS now then. Because I, I I don't care to pay for the subscription. I'd rather them do it the same way Microsoft's doing it. But if I can't play those games on PS4, then I will get a PS5. But now if Microsoft does the same thing, then I probably won't get a PlayStation and I'll just get the next Xbox. Because if I, I feel like they're kind of walking back to forward compatibility well, a little that, bit. The fact that all your controllers come with you, everything we know that for a fact on Xbox, like everything's forward the controllers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to me, that's a big bonus. Plus. So I'm curious to see if PlayStation follows suit and just allows you to use PS4 Dual Shocks on your PS5. I wouldn't be surprised. I hope they do. Honestly. But there's, you know, until they say yes to that, I'm I'm not holding, you know, my breath because Sony is also the company that will sell you. A, I honestly, like, wouldn't be surprised. A hundred and fifty dollar eight gigabyte memory card for a little system called a Vita. So uh, I still hold that against them, and uh, we'll see. We'll see. So, like, I'm curious, what, what would it take for you guys to buy the Scarlet at launch? You know, would, would it be a combination of, like, launch lineup and features and stuff like that? I get to right like, now, I'll, I'll buy both PlayStation and an Xbox at launch. See, both systems at the same, same day? Yeah, I'll be buying both at oh, launch. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I can't do that. <laughs> I got to just do one. Do another what one, I'll doing? pick up later. I'll... Polling pattern for now. Um, I have to see the launch lineup for both of them uh, to see which one is what I'll get. If you can get um, all the games on Xbox on on Xbox One, and I have to get the next, you know, the next one to play those games, will you just get PS Five default? Um, what was that again? Sorry. I think it still would depend on the games for. Well, no, I'm saying like knowing that if you, you could play every Xbox One game that they're about to announce at E3 for the next for Scarlet, and you could still play it on Xbox One X, would you just play them on Xbox One X and just buy a PlayStation Five? Uh, yeah. I guess it depends on. What, I would have to see like the g- digital foundry difference. <laughs> if they're like uh, well beyond what I, I would expect, um, and I'll I'll get it on a, on a Scarlet, and I'll just trade in the the, the X because that you can still do that. You know, you can still trade in. Yeah. And I would say Even though I don't like PlayStation it. now doesn't guarantee you that you'll get your games for free. And if you could just have, let's say, three to five titles on Game Pass day one, all on Scarlet, ready to go to play without spending the money that on it, that's, that's crazy. a great value. Crazy. Uh, now, I can say Sony can totally counterbalance that by just saying, hey, PlayStation now is going to get day and date first party lineup and you would also get the same benefit on playstation but i doubt sony does that they might but i doubt it yeah i, I think if game pass is shaping up to be what, what you know if it'll be really good the way it is now and you go the first party games you might just have better value just keeping it might be actually more attractive to get the scarlet because you get everything first party plus you know whatever else is in there you'll be able to put more and, money uh, towards third party games versus having right. to buy first party stuff yeah exactly yeah. so you you kind of win uh more as a consumer there yeah but i like i said playstation totally can do the same thing i just i'm not sure if they will yeah i will see what how their plans change over the next couple of uh months and stuff i, I doubt they'll 
take it the way that the Xbox has because they're less in desperation mode, I guess, for that type of thing. Um, but uh, yeah, It'd be very interesting. Yeah. Well, All right. Is there anything else we want to oh. cover before? Well, I I got I think we've already covered this once, but I, it was in the headlines was uh cyberpunk 2077 won't have microtransactions cd project red does not want to lose the goodwill they have with their customers according to twist voxel which is yeah, understandable yeah, yeah. yeah i mean there's not much for me to say here <laughs> i mean they're, they're always doing pretty they do pretty well for the Consumers, it's a, it's a status quo. It's the yeah. same. <laughs> it's the yeah, same. Uh, I mean, we'll say, yeah, pirate our game, man. Pirate our game, please. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I think Reds have a good track record for uh, consumer trust, and it's just giving them good value for their for their games and stuff like that. So. I mean, uh, a lot of people are excited for Project Red stuff. I mean, I, I mean, I like The Witcher, but I'm not like a CD Project Red super fan. I mean, they, they made some good games, but I don't think they're quite up there yet with like you know Rockstar and stuff like that. They still have a few more games to go. I doubt it. I don't know. No, they're up there. I th- I put them right up there, and if anything, if Cyberpunk is a smash success, that that just cements them in without any question. It would take Cyberpunk and like maybe one more game for me to I say. Think oh, yeah. Cyberpunk fucking <laughs> smashes it out the park. That that that's it. They are fucking in. Bro, as well. bro, bro, do, you realize, do you realize The Witcher Three so over thirty million copies? I mean, yeah, but it's, it's just one game. It's not like uh, this was one franchise. They haven't done like a crazy amount of stuff besides that, you know. Yeah, but they also have Gwent, which is really really big. Yeah, it's like a branch. It's, it's kind of like a lot of just a Witcher franchise stuff, you know. It's like so. Um, I would like to see them tackle like Cyberpunk is gonna be a big, uh, a big like kind that's, of proving that's point the crazy for them. Thing about it. They've reached the success of a rock and whoever else you want to name with just one franchise, which is crazy. Yeah, and I would say so, the reason that is is just because uh, Rockstar. I mean, honestly, I think those games are going downhill. Yeah, like, yeah, they, just, they, they it don't takes... have like the same I think it player. Is. Well, they have less. Uh, like, but at the same time, team. just wait for Grand Theft Auto Six the trailer to drop, and then we'll all just sit there and go, "Oh my God, it's Grand Theft Auto Six! <laughs> and it'll be a gigantic fucking game. Like, yeah, it's you know because they're when like they go big, audit. they go big. Yeah, I can hate on it all I want. Like GTA Six will be a fucking gigantic title that we will probably all buy, even if the mechanics are still shitty. Like, yeah, but it's like saying, uh, like, uh, what is it? Man, who makes Elder Scrolls? Bethesda. Like Bethesda. Who would have thought Bethesda would have been released Fallout seventy six? Or any of their like they their games are getting shittier and shittier because the mechanics aren't evolving because you have stuff like Metro because you because you have stuff like The Witcher three. It's just evolving that franchise and it's just better. Is yeah. what people want. So yeah, it's 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 definitely interesting. We'll see exactly where that goes. Yeah, most definitely. All right, we are gonna skip anime corner this week. I gotta actually try to end the show a little sooner than usual. Uh, it's probably gonna still go on for an hour and a half. Uh, but <laughs> let's see. Let's just get right into what you've been playing. Uh, so, Will, what have you been playing, sir? Hello? What, uh, Children of Morda, which just came out, I think, yesterday or the day before. <clears throat> so, it's like a 2D in the, like, our action RPG, which is, is really good. Actually, quite good. Uh, so I, I really had a lot of fun with that one. Um, what else? Um, you know, my usual PUBG stuff. Um, 
us. Uh, I bought Mortal Kombat uh, 11, which was on sale last week, or it's still on sale, I think, this week. Uh, I just bought the base game because I know like they're gonna release super discounted DLC packs. <laughs> so as later and later on, so I'm not gonna go crazy. Plus, like all the characters are not even yet for that latest pack, so not kind of worth it yet. It's like twenty something bucks. Yeah. Uh, you know, because I'm sure they're gonna release like an XL version or whatever. <clears throat> but yeah, those are like kind of the main ones. Besides, like you know, certain indie games and stuff like that. So. Okay. Well, I'll be real quick with it. I've played Apex Legends. Oh uh, yeah. So you yeah. you liking that more than ever? <laughs> I'm guessing. Uh, no, nah, I just ain't. I haven't played it in a long time, so I'm back on it. And my, I, mean, I, I play with my son. He been, me and my son been playing together. So it's nice. Kinda, it's kind of cool, man. Playing with my boy, even though he kind of. It's interesting how kids choose to play games. Yeah. Like I'm more strategic, and I want to do this kind of drop, and they just don't care. They think that you know, no, it's weird. It's weird, but yeah. So I've been doing that, playing Apex, and you know. Playing, playing Gears. I'm almost done with that game. I play Call of Duty Mobile. Anybody play like that? No, I heard it's I heard it's good, but not really Call of Duty guy. I dropped twenty five on them first game. Twenty five bucks. No, uh, twenty five kills. Ah, uh, <laughs> we'll I was play. destroying the asses. Nice. Uh, that's pretty much it, man. I'm calling you out, Steph. You're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> we played something together, sir. We played oh, Halo yeah, Five. We, I forgot about that. We did play yeah, Halo Five. Yeah, we played some Halo Five, people. Oh man, still feels so good. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. This yeah, shit, we got shit was on it point. Was I'd be down yeah. for some. Uh, yeah, next time you guys are on, let me know. I'll... Yeah, yeah, me, me, Vernon, and uh, Dustin was playing Halo Five. Yeah, yeah I'd be down. Yeah, I'm playing the team down. You know, you know me at the top of the leaderboard. You know. Yeah, it's still it's still one of the best like multiplayer games you know ever it feels so like the movement is so on point like you just you never feel like it's the game's fault like it, it's yeah. like man i just didn't do that right like it because it's just it's mechanically up there with uh with any with like a platformer i would say almost with its controls it's just very tight it feels right it's uh, that's, it's strange that you say that because i think people hate this one for their control so much like the purest. Of the oh, I know. I've I've talked to a few people about it, and if I, and of course they're like, Halo Two is the best, and I'm just like, shut the fuck up. Halo Two was all like, it wasn't awful, but it wasn't great. <laughs> like it is herald well, as. I disagree with you. You can disagree all you want. Halo Two is a good game for controls. Great game. Three was better, and then no. fucking. Infinite or no, not infinite. Uh, what was it? Bubble Shield was trash. Okay, Bubble I mean, Shield uh, and Maulers are to have no respect for it. Yeah, and Ground Pound is pretty three. useless. Over two, yeah, and I prefer Halo 5 over everything except for CE. Halo 5 and CE to me are on the same level. I mean, I'll, I'll say that Halo 5's co op is uh. Probably the best of, of most of them, besides maybe. Well, the, the Arbiter stuff is pretty cool. Uh, that's that's a, a really. Halo co -op. Files co op is the best. Are you crazy? You know, you can get the campaign co op. The, uh, ODST. ODST. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, well, yeah, but that's still that's more of a, like a mode. You know, it's not like a yeah, but that's more dedicated was campaign. Man, come on, man. That was that was that shit, man. Well, Reach. I wish Reach had a co-op. Uh, I was gonna say like, it the does. Firefight and Halo Five's better. Say what? The the big team battle. Well, the the firefight in five. Well, I'm not saying it if it's better. I'm just saying. For I know. I'm just saying like game. it's yeah. Like it's definitely like five stepped the game up on a lot of modes. The the issue with i if i was going to give five an issue was the fact that they kind of i don't give a fuck if they put forge maps they ditch big team battle in a big way and that's where five fails the most um and it's disappointing because big team battle is such a big part of all the original halos yeah 
Uh, but other than that, it knocked it out of the park in almost every other category. Okay, well, I want to tell you the other lie I made. I played it on <laughs> All right. Ring of Elysium. I played it on PC. It's like PUBG, but not PUBG. <laughs> yeah. Strong motherfuckers in it. You gotcha. That's all. Nice. It's, it's free right. to play. I think it's on console. We want to try it. Oh yeah, I was gonna say yeah, Reach Reach does have a uh, co-op, but it's just uh, but it's like through your two. I mean, what I mean is like you could play as like the noble team like, instead of like two made up Spartans and stuff like that. So I wish oh, you could play. Come on, it. It's story. I mean, I mean, they should let you play it up to a point where they die, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but uh, all right. Yeah. So we also had uh, I played Ukulele and the Impossible Lair. I really enjoy it. It it definitely is uh, a spiritual successor to Donkey Kong Country. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, that's the name of the game. Yeah, a lot of rare developers. So did you play yeah. the first one? I wasn't a big fan of it to be honest, but this yeah. being a two D side scroller, yeah, it's up my alley. So yeah, I'm really enjoying it. The music's great. Uh, the animations yeah. are good. Yeah. Yeah, maybe go back and play the first one. It's okay, but I feel like it's a little too many open spaces. It's a little too empty. Like it's not as uh, con- it's yeah, not the as first condensed. one or the impossible layer. Which well, the first yeah, the first ukulele. Yeah. It's like uh, it's a little. It should be more populated, more stuff. I mean, yeah, I would U- like like to see yeah. ukulele is a banjo kazooie game, while yeah. ukulele and the impossible layer is a Donkey Kong Country game. Yeah, so I kind of want to see them try like maybe another attempt, but like, just do a better job with like the world and stuff like that. But yeah. I mean, it's still a fun game. It's, it's a decent game. It's not, but yeah, Impossible Air is definitely it's a great, a game. much better game. From what I see, yeah. I would recommend it for thirty bucks. I think it's worth a worthwhile purchase if you're yeah. if you're craving a platformer. Yeah, yeah. I, I also played Crash Bandicoot. It was on sale. I bought that. Oh, nice! The original trilogy, whatever. Yeah, the rem- the the remastered edition or whatever. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty. Uh, it's cool. Yeah, it's still it's kind of hard though. <laughs> it, it is hard. I mean, I haven't died yet or nothing, but yeah. It's supposed to be the controls that frustrate me. It's not like it's not so much that it's hard. Just controls are like not precise compared to like other platformers. And I kind of do want to get Crash Team Racing once that's uh. On sale again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I might grab that too. But I also I wish play, I could uh, buy it because they had a they had the Spyro and the Crash Bandicoot double pack. On yeah, sale. like oh next yeah. Week I was so <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Well, we need to play some World War Z once that hits uh, Game Pass. Yeah, I'll try it out. Yeah, should be fun. But that's that's all I've been playing as well. Uh, All right, well, I think that's going to do it for this week's show. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. Please write us in at letters at xboxuncut.com. We will be back next week on Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Or no, I'm sorry, at 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, almost at 8. It's 9 p.m. Eastern. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, Outer Worlds is also... Uh, I got, it's getting enhanced for PlayStation 4 as well, so... I know there's the miscommunication there. Uh, see, I think Windows Central and Windows Central and Private Division, so... Uh, is this going to get uh, enhancements getting, on PS4 Pro? No, no, it is being. It is going to have the resolution boost to 1440p, right. but it will yeah, not be getting the 4K enhancements. No, no, it's yeah, that'll be yeah. Disp- it, that's no. yeah. That, so it's the X is going to get 4K textures with the PC, and then the PS4 Pro is just getting the 1440p resolution. Yeah. So it'll so, definitely look uh, better. So thank yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. Looking forward to that game. That's uh, I think that's next week, right? Twenty believe so. Something. Yeah, that's gonna be good. I'm definitely in, you know I'm gonna have some space open for that one. That's gonna be a good game. Yeah, uh, I think I had a new. I think it's thirty six gigs total size. No, that's pretty good. I mean, that's uh, that's with the four uh, K uh, stuff in there as well. Yeah, that's the X size, I believe. Yeah, it's gonna be. Yeah, that's gonna look nice. I mean, I don't know if it has HDR. I mean. I- not kind of doubt it but fingers crossed maybe <laughs> yeah i don't think they've said that yet but 
Yeah, I hope so. If not, I'm still sure it's going to look good. Yeah, so. yeah. Ukulele is 4K, but no HDR, from what I could tell. So, and it still looks. Good yeah, anyway. yeah. It's the color is still most eyeball. It's so yeah. bright. <laughs> but yeah, sorry, I forgot that the winter one. No, little, you're good. You know. All right. Well, thank you everybody for tuning in. We'll catch you next week. Peace out, everybody. Later, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.